Good morning. Or no. Good day. Good, e <laughs> good day, people. How's it going? It's going good. 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 We're always connected. Yes, sir. So anyway, see your thumbs up. See? Listen, listen, that listen. Is there Did you preserving hear? Preserving bottles. <laughs> we just got to them yesterday. <laughs> I haven't even had a chance to wash them, so I'm going out right now to wash them and let them dry really well. And then we're gonna put like my poppy seeds that some husband decided to, you know, tip over in my cupboard because he didn't. I tipped them over because he didn't seal the bag. It's your problem. Your eyes are beautiful. See, every time he's in trouble, see how he gets. Do you see this? <laughs> Okay, so, so we are going to clean the mason jars and we're going to get them ready and put some spices away. So we'll just give you guys a sneak peek when we're at that today. And it's really rainy and yucky outside. I want to go outside, but Daryl says, what are you going to do? Go out in the rain? I wish we had some partridge berries now so we could bottle them. Well, Miriam, Miriam, if you're watching, <laughs> can you send us some partridge berries frozen? It's <laughs> just, you know, across the ocean. Not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> You wouldn't have to stay it in the parcel if it one broke. Oh, if one broke, it would be a, it would be a mess. Parch if you guys ever tried Parch's berries, let us know. Um, people, a lot of people often say to us, "Do they taste like cranberries?" No, I don't that's... think so. I think they're a lot more tart than cranberries. Yeah, they're a lot more tart. Yeah. So in our books, they're ten times better. Mm. Okay. Can't beat the Parch's berries. Well, we're, new, we're newfies. Mm. We're supposed to be good. If you guys ever tried Parch's berries, thumbs it up, boys. Yeah, Ladies I'm... and gentles. Ow! Ladies and gentles. Get off my toes. You're the one who's standing on no, my No, get off my toes. So anyway, we're going to head in the kitchen in a little bit, and we're going to bring you guys with us. Mm. Stick around. Stay tuned, boys. I think you're silly. <laughs> There's nothing embarrassing with kissing in public. It shows affection. Yeah. And it's like, if you can't show affection in public, mm. in my eyes, I think there's something not right with that. Yeah, other pe other people say, why do you do it in public? It's, I'll get a room. No, I feel, in my opinion, I feel that if you are not showing affection in public, um, something kind of sketchy with that. Yeah. If you can't show people out around that you're with the one you love and you mm. can't give them a kiss and all this, I kind of got my feelings mm. about that. So anyway, that's just my opinion. What do you think? Yeah, I agree with that 100%. I mean, you shouldn't be able to know suck the no. face so much that you do need to get a room. Yeah. And you should be able to be able to, <clears throat> you should be able to like peck on the cheek, kiss on the lips. And even if you want to French for a minute. Um, <laughs> what? What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. See, see my thumbs up? Oh my. Thumbs up, baby. <laughs> yeah. And I say, peace, my brother. From another mother. Peace. Peace. Uh. <laughs> so we'll catch you guys real soon in the kitchen. Hang yeah. Hang tight. Stay tuned. Yeah. Okay, here's our mason jars that we're going to clean up there. Still a nice bit of stuff there. My wife is going to put it all for spices in mason jars and have it all neat and tidy. Yes. So the progress has started. She started washing her mason jars. Organization. Is well, it? Yeah. It's going to look much better than what it was a couple days ago. Yeah. So a couple weeks ago when I said, Daryl, I need mason jars. I'm so sorry, my love. Oh, wow. We'll I should have got them before. He just apologized. You hear So Nadine. Has our jars all cleaned out, all dry, waiting to put our spices in. I have two minutes. Hi, girl. I just need a couple minutes. Okay. Look at this. Poppy seeds done. Now to find the exact spot, because I'm a perfectionist. Uh oh. Come on here, I think. Oh, shoot. Anyway, it's good enough. That's good enough. Cool. Poppy seeds. Poppy seeds. In a neat See? little container. Yeah. Mm. Isn't that cool? So I have my, have my poppy seeds. Done! Cool. Now it's the next one. It's just very simple. It's a very simple way of organizing all of your um, grains and spices. Especially stuff you don't want to smell out your cupboards if you buy it 
in bags and when you come home after you open it you close it again and then it's going to stink out like your cupboard you're best off putting it into a bottle and sealing it so we'll just put this and flax there's not a big smell at all on flaxseed so anyway I'm just doing it because I I'm organized that's all yes but look at this made fit totally awesome baby trying to get every single one because every single one costs something whether it's a penny or 10 cents. I just discovered something. If you put on your uh, label before you put in your spice, it's obviously so much more, so much easier to see, right? So we're gonna write on each label what the um, spice or whatever is going into the bottle. We're gonna put the label onto the bottle and then put in the spice or herb, whatever the case may be. Cool, sounds Stick good. around and you'll see more. Awesome, hun. Brown cinnamon. So throw it in. Let me watch it. Throw it in. Okay. What are you doing, good? For now, so far so good. I have more cinnamon right here. I have to put in there. A spice rack. It may work for you. That's great. I don't want to have it on my cupboard. I sooner have it into individual bottles, especially because I have more than what I usually than mm. what a spice, spice bottle, bottle usually contains. So this is like 125 gram bottles, and usually spice bottles are not even like 100 gram. So for me, my mason jars work best, work better for me. If mason jars work better for you, give her. If they don't work better for you, don't even attempt this. Mm. Don't, don't attempt this at home. Right, honey? Mm. Look at this, like no mess required either. Pinch the top of your bag up here, Hold it on like a 45 degree angle, tap the bottom of the bag. You're almost more than likely guaranteed no mess doing it this way. Crown cinnamon. Yep. Put your lid on top. Fasten your other lid. Bam, brown cinnamon. Perfect. Look at that. You see how earlier I had the bottle full of the spice and it was hard to judge where to put it and I didn't know if I should go too far to the left or right. So right now it's empty and it's pretty easy to judge right there. Go to my sesame seed. Pour. And pour slowly, right? Whoa. There you go, our sesame seed. So right now we're doing bran. We're going to use our funnel. So our brand is done, we're just going to apply a lid and our spin lid. Brand. Next we are doing chai seeds. Never should brag because in the middle of your bragging you could have a big mess, right? Chai seeds. Brand. So next we are doing all spice. Look at this. I'm not sure now, but I'm gonna have to get some more and fill this baby up because I go for a lot of all spice. Who don't make gingerbread? Hello. I know it's not Christmas, but so that's our all spice. And all spice, as you all know, as soon as you open it, you can smell it right away. So if you leave the can, if you leave your packaging, it doesn't matter what kind of packaging, who makes it any kind of packaging, if you leave it open um, or half sealed, and when you go in your cupboard like the next day or like a week later, you'll get this real big aroma of like allspice, and you'll think, what, where's that coming from? More, nine chances out of 10, and in my opinion, it's from the seal not being completely shut, and obviously it leaks out. If you have this in an airtight sealed jar, you're not gonna smell it until you open it, right? Right, there you go, allspice. Ginger now. Again, hold the bag up top. I don't know how many more times I have to say it, but it's very simple. Ginger. Right? And keep it on up. Don't go straight up and down like I just did. Keep it on a farty fight. Yeah, but I like the allspice better because mm. allspice reminds me of gingerbread. I just mm. love gingerbread at Christmas time. It's best. Best. Ginger. So we've just opened turmeric. 
and it's not a smell that I overly enjoy. It goes in lots of recipes, but it just goes in like a little bit in some recipes. Now you do get some recipes, some other recipes, where um, it goes in a lot, mm. and that's not really in a lot some of- Some people like that they can- Oh, they like, yeah. But give we, her. We, I like to have it on hand because- Too much. So right now we have our turmeric, ginger, margarine, whole cloves, allspice, ground cinnamon, bran, sesame seed. <laughs> what did I do? I wrote bran twice on... Oh, I missed. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy cow, this is oats. This is oats. Sesame seed. This is bran. Puppy seed. Chai seed. And whole flax seed. I cannot believe that I put bran on oats. Well, it must have been my fault. Yeah, because Daryl messed me because up. Because I aggravate you. Yes, you do. This is a sad look when my husband messes up. Look, this was supposed to be called oats. Do you see this? This is bran. I'm so mad right now. No, I'm not happy. This is supposed to be oats, not bran. I have to fix it. So I just fixed it. It's oats now. Sesame seed, bran, poppy seeds, chai seeds, whole flax seed. Ta-da! So there is my 12 little bottles are ready to go into my cupboard. As soon as I get them in the cupboard, I will show you guys. I need a look. Of course. And there you have it. Look at that. Awesome, eh? All organized, all well aligned, totally ready to go. Yeah, baby. So this is the best way I'm going to organize it for now until I can probably think of something better. And then, um, but I want to continue putting my spices into my mason jar because I really like it that way. So we are going to end our vlog for today. My throat is still not better, you know. I know. You'll be all right soon. Today, you've seen us um, at our spices. A rainy, crappy day. We didn't go through the door. We're stuck in the house again. We can't stand doing too many vlogs at home because it's too, it, us, for us, in our opinions, it's just boring. Um, but if you guys like at home vlogs, let us know. If you want to see us go outside and jump in the rain and do some stuff in the rain, let us know. We'll do that too. Okay. So, anyway, until <laughs> tomorrow morning, we'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace. Peace. Till tomorrow morning. Night, night, beautiful people. Night, night. If you guys see us out and about tomorrow, sure to sing out to Ralphie's and we will turn around and you can be in the vlog with us mm -hmm. on YouTube. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up on our vlogs. Yeah. Especially today's. We spent the whole day doing spices just to show you guys how to organize your cupboard. Mm. That was awesome. Yeah, it was. Beautiful. So until tomorrow morning, peace again for the fifth time. Night night. <laughs> Sleep tight. Sleep tight. Peace, baby. Wow. Night night. Sleep tight. <laughs>